a sad situation where the tomb has collapsed. You can actually see the roots of the tree. No idea where it's come from or where it belongs to. Between the 3rd and the 4th of June 2019, Jobs entered the Hurstwood burial ground and started destroying the military graves. This was leading up to the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Welcome back to Bradford Through the Lens. Now, if it's the first time you stumbled across our channel, it's all about Bradford history and local history. And we do it in a visual manner as you are walking with us on a journey. So do subscribe and we'll do our best to upload frequent videos. And today, like I mentioned, we're at the Hurstwood burial ground in Shipley. And what we'll do is we'll walk around, see what we can discover, have a little chat about the burial ground itself. And I've been through quite a few cemeteries and burial grounds, and this one is quite unique, very eerie. It's a common theme actually when uh, churchyards run out of space. There's always a, a secondary burial plot, but this is actually you could call it a sister uh, cemetery or a burial ground next to Nabwood because Nabwood is only next door and this is a bit of a pathway uh, isolated pathway that takes you to the the burial grounds of uh, Hurstwood and here we are I've actually brought a torch today, so there you go. Hearst wood. And this is the main entrance. Now I believe regular burials have ceased since 1980 from what I can remember don't quote me on that and since, since then it's become a kind of a ecological site there's a lot of wildlife and uh, even Japanese weed which we'll probably come across later on so let's have a look around. This place is always in a shade, as you can see. That looks like a new uh, military military grave now to, to be honest on the top of my head i don't really know which ones were destroyed but you can actually go onto the internet um, there's quite a few articles by the tna that gives you the exact uh, graves that were destroyed and obviously since 2019 uh, they've been replaced Actually, there is a Hurstwood burial ground management plan that was issued in 2019 to 2021. And what I'll do is uh, I'll put some uh, captions on the screen now and you'll get to see some of the aims uh, they're trying to achieve with this ground because there's a lot of work to be done. And like I said, uh, it's more of a, pr a protection of a wildlife. Uh, I believe there may be some... Uh, colonies of bats here also there are 
tree preservation orders that they need to uh, look into so there's a lot of uh, stumbling blocks to actually maintain this uh, uh, burial, burial ground and I will put a link in the description to that plan uh, which is quite interesting actually it's something that needs to be obviously implemented and there's very old graves here and there you go I'll just uh Now that's just come off obviously off its base there it's quite a treacherous area to be honest so if you do decide to come here just be careful <clears throat> so if you can click that like button it really helps us a lot because we get to know basically where our channel is going and uh, how well the video is doing so if you could please do that for us it'll be most helpful now here i've just noticed i mean look at this grave here and this tombstone totally collapsed this area is been isolated by some uh, some string now i believe it's to do with japanese knotweed and on the notice it says invasive species control area do not enter and we all know japanese knotwood is a not a kind species to the foundations of houses and uh, even graves I don't know if you can hear that, I could hear an owl in the background. I'm just generally walking around, later on I'll uh, do my best to get up close to any interesting graves. Now, this channel is not always about graves, it just so happens that good stories great history end up six feet under and we most of the time just end up at graveyards looking at history and the people involved that have brought major developments to Bradford I will go around that area towards the end that's a bit treacherous around there Now if you go onto the Commonwealth War Graves Commission website I believe they have actually named and documented eight military graves here that they look after or, or it's under the database now I don't know if that's up to date but that's what I've read and I'm sure there are more private memorials here from the families uh, of the military personnel So we're just reaching the uh, the boundary wall here and we'll just go down these steps yeah this is quite a disturbed area down here everything's collapsed totally collapsed nature has just taken over and here unfortunately we have a, a sad situation where the tomb has collapsed go further down these steps here <laughs> it's 
So what do you think? Have you uh, been to Hurstwood Burial Grounds yourself? What do you think? What are your opinions on the on the you know on the site itself? Do you know anybody who's actually buried here? Because when uh, the military graves were vandalised in 2019, there was an uproar. And there was quite a lot of uh, relatives that were really upset about it, naturally. So we've just climbed down these steps here. Let's see what's down here. Totally isolated. It's actually quite a sad sight. I really wish I could come back here properly and uh, make an effort and uh, clear some headstones and read the names out. It's such a mammoth task. Yeah, look at the size of that tree. I wonder what happened there. Again, this is an interesting feature. The whole wall has collapsed here. Now, I don't know if that's anything to do with the, the tree that's fallen across there. I am wearing my steel toe caps today, so like I said, if you do, do decide to come, just uh, just be careful and be equipped. We are in the middle of summer. But I don't know if it would make any difference if it came in the middle of winter. I suspect it'll still be full of uh, shrubs and trees and what have you. I will also put a link in the description where I don't know about two or three dozen names have been mentioned that have been buried here and it gives you a bit of a life story uh, how they passed away and uh, the plots as well I think they give you the plot number so that's a quite interesting little link that you might want to see now I don't know if you can see those yellow flags maybe somebody can tell me in the comments what these yellow flags represent is it something to do with the Japanese uh, knotweed seeing that just across there I can see another 
uh, isolated area with um, I don't know some barriers around it uh, again that could be Japanese not weed that they don't want you to disturb that they probably will be treating in the near future Like I said, it is a bit shady around here and I hope the, the video comes out okay. And to be honest, I've not seen, well, virtually any graves that are in a good stable condition except uh, the military ones obviously because they've vandalized recently Graves after graves, such a sad, sad sight. You can imagine all under there will be more burial plots. You can see, obviously, another side stone of a tomb. Obviously there's a lot of graves here I can't reach to <clears throat> But there are some more steps here Look at all that You just wonder what's under there I don't know if you can see that that's just about visible amongst all that weed look at this here Yeah, here's another one that's caved in.
Now if you look carefully, that tree is not being kind to this wall. You can actually see the roots of the tree just tearing its way through of the wall. Just incredible how nature just takes over. Look at this wall here, totally dislodged. Again, I wouldn't advise walking across these uh, uh, burial plots. You don't know how safe they are. Yeah, really stubborn. I really want to read what's behind there, but I don't really have the uh, the necessary tools. So just a quick clip of the boundary wall. As you can see, it's falling apart. But what I, ha I have noticed is there are these protruding bricks here. deliberately put across does anybody know what the purpose is could you drop a comment and just let me know because my guess is something to do with uh, keeping the wall secured but there you go all the way across so there we have it uh, a kind of a quick tour around the Hurstwood burial ground and it gives you guys an idea at the uh, state it's in and uh, if you do like to come you like to see the history around the Balmies but just be careful like I am now <laughs> trying to look at the camera at the same time but uh, yeah like I said if you like your local history especially Bradford history do follow us and subscribe and I will meet you on the next vlog. Peace out.